Alright guys, so as promised, I'm going to do some videos on my new fish tank that I have installed at my restaurant. And so far it's become really popular with the customers, especially the kids, they all like to come up and look at it. So in this video I'll just show you what my setup is, I'll go through some of the fish review, and later on I'll start to show you guys other maintenance sort of tips. So in my case here I've got an Aqua one, it's a 192, so it's 192 litres. Um, so this one came with the cabinet as well as you can see and it also came with the filter as well so in the cupboard here it's an aqua 750 um, canister filter there and obviously over there you can see I've got all the chemicals a lot of it you don't even need I've just got a lot of them just as backup um, I've also got an air pump so as you can see there are bubbles going in there and there's also a heater just in the corner there. So if you're doing tropical fish, you will need a heater. So guys, in my case, I've got the heater set to about 26 degrees Celsius. So generally with a tropical tank, you're looking anywhere between 20 to 27, 28 degrees. So guys, in my tank, as you can see, if you're familiar with fish, I've got mostly tetras. So tetras are a community-based schooling fish. So you'll notice a lot of them try, tend to stick together. Now, apart from those, I've got some Corydoras, which are these guys right at the bottom. So they spend most of the time at the bottom, pretty much cleaning up any excess food, anything like that. Um, I'll just show you here, I've got a snail as well. So the snail's just there cleaning up as well. So guys, when it comes to snails, they breed very easily, and they can actually take over your tank. So in my case, I've only put one snail. If you're going to put two, obviously keep that in mind. They may take over your tank. So guys, apart from the Tetris, I've also got some Dwarf Guramis, which are these ones here, and the orange one there as well. So I've got four of those. So they are also a community-based fish, so everybody does get along. And I've also got some guppies, which are these little ones here. Actually, I should, I should probably zoom in so you can get a better look, but they're those colorful ones there. So in total, I've got about 45 right now. I haven't had any issues with any of them dying, which is good, because that's one of the first issues you run into. Basically, you don't want to overpopulate your tank. I'm going by the one inch per gallon. So basically, if you're going by liters, it's pretty much one inch of fish for every four liters. So based on the size of my fish, you're looking at about 45 to 50 of them. Definitely don't add them all in at once, you've got to add them gradually because your filter needs time to develop a biological filter. So I'll take you in for a closer look. So that's a tetra there. That's some more tetras up there. That's the guppies just in the back there. I've also got neon treachers, which are these little ones here. So they're very nice. And that's the snail coming out again. So if you are looking at buying your first aquarium, I was originally going to go for a 32 litre aquarium. Now when I went to buy it, originally I wanted to put goldfish. The guy told me you can only put about two goldfish in that tank and even that is too small. So you need to bear in mind how big they grow. So from the 32 litre, he mentioned 132 litre. But then he also mentioned, you're better off spending the money and buying the bigger tank now. And I'm glad I listened to that. And it wasn't a sales tactic, believe me. Because even you look at this tank, you go, oh, it's pretty empty, but it's not. They need that room, they need that oxygen. Your filter needs to be able to cope with everything as well. And so does your heater. So do keep that in mind when you're buying an aquarium. Think ahead, think of what fish you want to put in there. So that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to do an aquarium water change. So this generally needs to be done once a week and you're looking anywhere between 20 to 50%. If you have any problems with ammonia sparks, you can go up to 80%. So it just depends on your entire setup. But we'll go through that in the next video. If there's anything else you guys want to know, please just leave it in the comments section and I'll get to that. 